when she called him and told him it was an alligator bite. And one thing that I heard was, I'm serious. <laughs> you know, he's got bit by an alligator. Still on the front porch. A Daytona Beach man attacked by an alligator outside his house. He just opened his door and the gator was right there. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Aiken. Thanks for staying with us. The man's going to be okay, but not the gator. Florida Fish and Wildlife has captured and euthanized the alligator behind the bite. New Six's Brad Didlake is in Daytona Beach with this story. Now, the homeowner, Scott Hollingsworth, said that this is a crazy situation, and we did get a chance to speak with him hours after returning from the hospital. And let me show you why he was in the hospital. It was right here next to the front door where Hollingsworth says that an alligator uh, bit him as he was simply checking for noise and said that it all happened in a matter of seconds. Hey, Mercy. Home video showing the moments after this alligator bit a Daytona Beach homeowner. My son's 17 and he sometimes brings over friends without permission, so we thought he was trying to sneak somebody in. So I jumped up and headed over and opened the door. Uh, Scott Hollingsworth says that was his initial thought when checking to see what caused the noise at his front door. This all happening Saturday around 940 in the evening at Hollingsworth's home on Champion Drive. He tells me as soon as he walked out the front door. Got my leg clamped on and started shaking really violently and hadn't even turned the lights on yet. I said when I, I looked down and just saw kind of a, a big black mass and uh, my first thought was it's a big dog. And you know it was dark out there, couldn't see it. But he released, fortunately released me and uh, I took a step back and hit the lights and saw a large alligator. It wasn't a dog, but this alligator. A Florida Fish and Wildlife responding to the scene euthanizing the gator. Yeah, it was uh, unexpected. Hollingsworth was bit on the upper thigh and now wears bandages. Puncture mark from the this side of the mouth on this side, but then when he tore, he ripped the side off um, over here. The knee. Oh, that's basically all I need. And we were there as investigators with Florida Fish and Wildlife were following up and learned the gator was nine feet in length. Do you normally see alligators come up to people's homes uh, in this area? No. Like I said, we have, we have alligators out here on the golf course that we see fairly regularly. Hollingsworth does note his neighborhood is next to the LPGA International Golf Club and seeing wildlife is common, but never this close to homes. Despite being bitten, he does say that he wishes the alligator could have been spared. I've worked on a farm growing up and have been out in wildlife my whole life and you know, I love seeing the animals, but uh, not that close. It was a little too up close and personal for me. And now going forward, Hollingsworth tells me that he doesn't have a timetable on his recovery process, but says that after a couple of days, he is ready to get back into the swing of things. But for now, we are in Daytona Beach. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.